Hello friends, welcome to Circle Time. I am Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids team and Circle Time is one of my favorite times of the day where we get to read stories, do activities, and see each other. And today I'm here with my friend Paul. Hello Paul. Hi Caroline. Hi friends. Thank you all so much for letting me join Circle Time today. I'm particularly excited because I heard that today is a special day. It's Dinosaur Day. We've got two books that we're going to read today about dinosaurs. The first one is called Dinosaur Day. Caroline, should we get started? Dinosaur Day by Cynthia Platt. The Kids Club was celebrating its first ever Dinosaur Day. Everyone planned to dress as one of these ancient creatures. Cody and her friends were all excited to see each other's costumes. Peck dressed up as a T-Rex. Your costume must have been hard to create. It's so tall, Peck, Rhea said. I know, but it was a cinch to make once I got started, Peck told her. His friends agreed it was the nicest and tallest T-Rex they'd ever seen. I wonder how Peck got into that very tall costume. What do you think, friends? It's a good question. Maybe he flew in and then put on his legs? He's got long stilts for legs you can see that are strapped to his feet. So when he moves his feet, it moves the long legs. Mm -hmm. Peck glanced at Olo's fancy costume. Are you a butterfly, he asked. No, I'm a pterodactyl, Olo told him. Olo spread out the lacy wings he had made. You're the prettiest pterodactyl I've ever seen, Cody said. Thanks, replied Olo. Is that your Triceratops floaty? Rhea asked Cody. Yes, but I made the feet and tail all by myself, Cody replied. You really look like a Triceratops now, Rhea exclaimed. Excellent choice, Peck agreed. Can you guess what I'm dressed as, Rhea asked. You have a thin tail, Olive replied. And those claws are very sharp, added Cody. So are your teeth, Peck said. That's because I'm a velociraptor, Rhea told them. It's my favorite dinosaur. Everyone loved the costumes they had created. Then Rhea noticed that someone was missing. Where is Sandy, Rhea asked. They all looked for her, but Sandy wasn't there. Hmm, I'm hearing some of our friends say some dinosaurs, like Ankylosaurus, or Diplodocus, or Stegosaurus. Let's keep reading to see what Sandy is dressed up as. Just then, Sandy arrived. She wore an explorer's outfit with a hat and hiking boots. She looked nice, but she definitely didn't look like a dinosaur. What are you dressed up as, Peck asked. What do you think, friends? Hmm, it looks like Sandy is dressed as some kind of explorer. Definitely not a dinosaur. Hmm, let's find out. I'm a paleontologist, Sandy replied. That's a scientist who looks for dinosaur fossils. Cool beans, said Cody. That was a great idea, agreed Peck. Now that I'm here, I have an idea for a game we could play, Sandy said. Dinosaur hide and seek. Who's going to be the seeker? Olo asked. I will. I can be the paleontologist searching for the dinosaurs, Sandy told him. They played until Sandy found all of her friends. What an extraordinary dinosaur day, they roared. 
Should we do some activities that are related to this book? That sounds fun to me. All right, so we have to spell the word celebrate. And the interesting thing is that we have some options at the bottom, all have the letter C. What sound does the letter C normally make? I'm hearing our friends say that the letter C normally makes the k sound. That's right, k, as in cat. But the word celebrate has a soft C, and I think it is with an E because we have the E eh sound, celebrate. Um, so I'm gonna try the C-E. When the C is with an E, it makes the S sound. S. Good thinking. You spelled celebrate. That's the word celebrate. And here we have to spell the word excited. And again, we have some C's that are with an I and an E and a Y. And that will make the C a soft C sound. Which one do you think it is? In the middle of the word excited, I do hear that soft C sound, X, and then it's excited. So maybe it's the letter I? Let's try it. Sigh. Super. You spelled X. Sigh. Tid. That's the word excited. And here we're supposed to spell the word fancy. Again, another soft C. And here, I think because it's at the end of the word, it's a CY. Let's try that. C. Cool beans. You spelled fan. C. That's the word fancy. Olo spread out the lacy wings on his fancy costume. And it sounds like there are two words here that have the soft C sounds. Can you hear them? I hear it in the word lacy. Lacy. And fancy. Fancy. Awesome. The C in the words lacy and fancy make the S sound because the C is with a Y. Is that your Triceratops floaty? Do we hear the S sound? Maybe Triceratops? Triceratops. Super! The C in the word Triceratops makes the S sound because the C is with an E. One more sentence. I'm a velociraptor. Another soft C in the word velociraptor. Velociraptor. Cool. The C in the word velociraptor makes the S sound because the C is with an I. That was a fun story. What a great idea to dress up as dinosaurs. I'd love to do that sometime. Absolutely. We should have our own dinosaur day sometime, Caroline. That's a great idea. Do you remember what type of dinosaur Peck dressed up as? He was the T-Rex. I remember because he had those long legs. Friends, I have another book for us to read all about T-Rexes. Shall we read it? Sure. Great, let's get started. Friends, this book is all about T-Rexes. This is from our friends at Bellwether Books. So thank you, Bellwether, for sharing this book with us. Let's start reading. 
Tyrannosaurus Rex. The world of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was a dinosaur with sharp teeth and claws. It lived in the late Cretaceous period. This was around 70 million years ago. What was the Tyrannosaurus Rex? The T-Rex was a huge dinosaur. Scientists believe it weighed up to 14,000 pounds, 6,350 kilograms. A strong neck held up its giant head. Its head reached up to five feet, two meters long. The T-Rex walked on two strong legs. Its tail stuck out straight. This helped the T-Rex keep its balance. Advanced inner ears also kept the T-Rex steady. Diet and defenses. Scientists think the T-Rex was a predator. It used its size and strength to take down prey. The T-Rex was also a scavenger. It ate any food it could find. Friends, on this page, where is the predator? We just read that scientists think that the T-Rex was a predator. Let's tap the T-Rex. Yes, the T-Rex was a predator. That means the T-Rex hunted other animals for food. The T-Rex had wide jaws. It could crush bone with one bite. Its mouth was filled with more than 50 pointed teeth. They easily tore through meat. Wow, look at how fierce the T-Rex looks. Tiny arms meant the T-Rex could not break its food apart. Instead, the dinosaur ate meat in large chunks. The dinosaur threw its head back to force food down its throat. Fossils and extinction. A huge asteroid hit the Earth about 66 million years ago. The impact destroyed the T-Rex's habitat. Eventually, dinosaurs went extinct. Scientists have found T-Rex fossils throughout the Western United States. A nearly complete skeleton was found in 1990. Each new discovery may help to uncover more about this powerful predator. Get to know the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, there are so many neat facts on this page. At the top, I see a box that says ERA, and it says 100 million to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. We can see three different eras called out. First was the Triassic, then the Jurassic, and last was the Cretaceous. And you can see the outline of a T-Rex highlighted, showing us that the T-Rex lived in the late Cretaceous period. Hmm, what else do you see that's neat on this page, Caroline? Hmm, it looks like the T-Rex has very short arms and a long tail, and its weight was up to 18,000 pounds. It looks like one T-Rex was about as heavy as two elephants. That is really heavy. That's so big, wow. We learned so much about the T-Rex together, friends. Let's answer some questions about all that we learned. Here's our first question. Why did the T-Rex have large, sharp teeth? It looks like we're going to pick one option. Here are the options. To tear through meat, to smell prey, to make a loud noise, to balance while walking. Hmm. 
Friends, why do you think the T-Rex had large, sharp teeth? Well, the teeth probably don't help them smell prey or balance. Yeah, I don't think so. And I bet the T-Rex was loud, but it probably wasn't their teeth doing that. So that means the T-Rex were using their teeth to tear through meat. To tear through meat. Yes, the T-Rex used its teeth to tear through meat. Here's the next question. Which option best describes a fossil? It looks like we're going to pick one choice again. A rock buried in the ground? A remain of a thing that lived long ago? A living thing? An animal that hunts other animals? Friends, which option do you think best describes a fossil? I'm hearing one of our friends say that a fossil is a remain of a thing that lived long ago. Let's try it. A remain of a thing that lived long ago. Good job! That was so great, friends. We learned so many interesting things about the T-Rex. Yes, thanks for reading, Paul. And now it is time for some dino show and tell. Oh, exciting. I can't wait to see. So our first show and tell is from Vion, who sent us his drawing of this gigantosaurus. And it looks like a tiny man. Wow, that's a big dinosaur. Maybe even bigger than a T-Rex. And it has small arms and a long tail, just like a T-Rex. It looks like it has sharp teeth, too. That's right. And our next one is from Zane. Zane sent us this brontosaurus. And it looks like Zane said that the brontosaurus is going to eat some watermelon. Probably just like Cody. Yeah, it looks like the Brontosaurus and Cody are going to share their watermelon. And this is Hannah. It looks like the title of her drawing is Cody Bear. And her message to the Khan Academy teachers is, I love you. I hope you love me too. We do, Hannah. Do you love dinosaurs? We sure do love dinosaurs, Hannah. And I love your stuffed animal too. It looks like you've got a triceratops, just like Cody dressed up as in the story. And this drawing is from Joshua, who drew us a Parasaurolophus. Paul, do you know what a Parasaurolophus is? I do. A Parasaurolophus is a really neat dinosaur. It's also known as a Hadrosaur or a duck-billed dinosaur. Great drawing. And our last show and tell is from Lorelei. Lorelei sent us her drawing of a stegosaurus. And she says, I drew stegosaurus like one of your books and I love butterflies. And we love your drawing. That's such a great stegosaurus. I can see the spines there on its back. Someone has been reading the stegosaurus book very closely. Great job. Yes, Lorelai told us that the Stegosaurus book is her favorite one in Khan Academy Kids. Wonderful. Well, thank you all so much for the dino show and tell. And if any of you want to do more dinosaur drawings or send us some photos, we would love to share them on Circle Time during show and tell. And for now, it's time for us to say goodbye. Goodbye from Paul, Caroline, and the Khan Academy Kids team. We will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye for now, friends.